Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at this vivarium here, which houses my female Mexican king snake Olivia, who's got this crazy climbing structure that I DIY'd, I had this really crazy idea, and I was like, that's going to work. So we'll walk you through it, let's show how we built this. Okay, so one thing to talk about is that Olivia has just laid, so at the moment she's ravenous, so I might have to give her food in order to distract her so we can talk about this setup. So this whole jumbled mess of tree limbs and branches is actually done in a really simple way. So let's come in here and say hello. Oh, look at her. Yeah, she's, she is, uh, are you going to let me play with your branches? Can I play with your branches? You're going to bite me. You're going to eat me, aren't you? Right. So if I were to start touching this. Okay. Let's give her food. BRB. Okay, so this setup, basically what I've done is I took branches from outside and this back one here, I've basically just screwed it straight into the wall. And there's a little bit of a gap and a bend up there where I've used it as like this resting area where I hope that she would loop and just rest sometimes. She's only done that sparingly. Um, the rest of it I've attached via these hooks and eyelets. So I've put hook, a hook or an eyelet either in the wall or in the end of the wood and I've attached it and they are attached to each other. So what that means is that now it all slightly wobbles when she climbs on it, which is perfect. This one is completely wobbly, completely moves because it's literally just a hook on an eyelet. And sometimes she does pull it down, but it's not a like heavy enough branch to crush her or anything. So that's fine. Uh, Olivia, you can't be coming out like this. These are empty tubs where I like had some hat. Oh, sorry, love. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Olivia. Oh, you tits. You apps. You're going you're to bite me now, aren't you? Come out. Come out. This is what happens when you try to just vlog something. All right, where are you? Come out. There you are. Come out. Come out. Right, come back in. No. Oh, you absolute rumble. Christ. Go back in. There we go. Now I'm a bit wonky. I didn't realize I was holding you like that. Right, so. We'll give her some food to distract her in a minute, but you can, you can see here how thin her body's gone after laying. Look, look how thin she's gone. It's completely just deflated her body. Right, so it's all attached to each other in a way that means that when I want to take something out, I can. But let's give Olivia some food so she's distracted so I can show you this. Now, this isn't a gigantic meal, but it's just big enough just to keep her a little bit distracted. So I'm going to pop that there and hopefully she'll be eating, munching over there. Surely you have to find that. How are you going past that? Oh, you're not. Okay, cool. Go and eat your mouse. There you go. There you go. Now we can talk about this setup while she's eating. Yeah, so everything in here I can like take out. So this is a hooked on and I can basically remove it like that. This one as well is attached similarly just by a hook and an eyelet and also like swings. So what I wanted was to her to climb over that loop and then like have to use these different muscles like sterilization muscles to actually activate different parts of her body so that she has to climb a little bit differently and use her body a little bit differently. So the substrate is just topping soil again um, and I've chucked some leaves in and I've actually let it dry out too much whilst I was laying her lay her eggs and I gave her loads of different like hide boxes and then she's laid but I've let the soil die and get too dry. So What's really nice is these branches lay under like her lights and she will like lay out the entire way across there and just stretch out across under the UV and stuff when she's not obviously eating and stuff. So yeah, it's really easy to do. You just measure it, cut it to length, um, screw in a little bit of a hole and the, drill a little bit of a hole on the end, shall I say, input a hook of an eyelet and then do the same on the wall and hook it on. That's literally all it is. But it's a really good way of offering climbing off the floor where it's all able to be taken out like this. And I can take it off like this and access behind it. I can take all of it out actually, if I need to, to access the back. So I wasn't concerned about breeding her 
um, collecting eggs in a naturalistic setup because they can take the branches out to access the back. So it's all about having this natural enclosure, but also allowing us a bit more ease as keepers to access it. And I think I've found that easy solution where it's that bridge of like natural enclosure, but also allowing us to actually work as keepers. So look at that, look at you. I love this snake so much. And then what you have is a really dynamic setup with all these branches, but also a really dynamic lighting system where it's like creating these areas of dappled light on the floor because you're blocking off patches of light and it's creating this sort of like mosaic of like UV and light hitting the floor as if they were in the wild, which is really cool. And I've also got half buried this log as well. So she's got a little underground area, but I'm going to do a full clean when that my, when I get the GoPro so I can attach it to my head. And I'm going to do a lot more like POV shots of like you seeing it as if you're doing it. Which I think will be cool for like feeding videos and stuff. But yeah, that's just how I've done that. Really easy to do, really easy to copy me. I hope you do copy me. Because it'll be great for your animals. Right, I'm going to end this carnage now. I don't know what this video turned into. Me just like dicking about with the snake that's trying to escape and poking it really. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do a few more of these videos where it's a bit uncut and just me babbling and talking about my snakes and stuff. If people don't like it, then I might stop and go back to really being really scripted. If they do like it, then I'll, I'll obviously carry on with this sort of stuff. But other than that, I'll see you in another video where we talk about Nuggets enclosure.